Allow me to amaze you. Let's speak about volcanoes and the uh, the thing. So basalt. Uh, you see the word basalt origin, Greek from basanos and Latin and Latin and basalt. Early 17th century from Latin basaltes, variant of basanites from Greek basanites. Anyway, so let's see. Molten salt. What is molten salt? Molten salt is salt which is a solid at standard temperature and pressure, but enters the liquid phase due to elevated temperatures. Molten salt is salt, which is solid at standard temperature, but once the temperature goes high, is liquid. Now let's see, ah, lava, and let's compare. So this is like what we use uh, in industry as a human species, molten salt, in industry-wise. I believe many, some of you might actually even be workers in these type of factories. Mol molten salt furnace, molten salt boiler, thermostatic salt bath furnace schematic, etc. So it can be done in labs and in the industry. We'll get to volcanoes soon enough. Ostempering. Molten salt is used in various industrial applications. Uh, Ostempering is a, a heat treatment for ferrous alloys in which a workpiece is quenched from the austenitizing temperature at a rate fast enough to avoid formation of ferret uh, or perlite and the steel is held in the molten salt bath through the bayonet transformation temperatures and then moderately cooled. The benefits of Austin pairing include greater ductility, higher impact resistance and less distortion. And that's when you see it happening in um, real time. So lava, this is from the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, but any volcano is useful. Even the Palma volcano from Spain. Molten salt fire hose lava flowed in the Kilauea volcano, Hawaii, USA. Do you now understand what I'm trying to say? Do you now understand? Let's see more stuff. Molten salt, fire hose, uh, lava flow for the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, USA, the most active volcano in the world. Uh, molten salt, fire hose, lava flow, Kilauea volcano, Hawaii, USA. Why the heck do they look so like that? And um, the flow and the way that uh, the lava in brackets comes out of the mountain and uh, remember, molten salt gets liquid at high temperatures. Hey, um, are the pictures enough to uh, not be considered a conspiracy theorist anymore? Because I don't like the word conspiracy theorist. It makes me want to go to the toilet right now and use lots of toilet paper. So um, what are examples of salt colors? Let's see salt colors. Color. Sodium chromate is yellow. Let's see the color. Oh, we have yellow, orange, red for the lava flow. Um, Select the most impressive and supreme volcano in the world, in the world, Kilauea, and then all the others come afterwards. So, sodium chromate is yellow by virtue of the chromate ion. Potassium dichromate is orange by virtue of the dichromate ion. Cobalt nitrate is red owing to the chromophore of hydrated cobalt uh, and have, have the chemical compound. And copper sulfate is blue because of the copper chromophore. So there we go. The colors, the different colors of lava. Ah. Blue lava in the Kavak Ijen volcano in Java, Indonesia. Now you understand why there's blue lava and there's red lava and there's orange lava and there's yellow lava. So uh, by the colors of what uh, the compound is and all this is science and all this is scientifically proven the same way that the earth is scientifically proven that it's not a globe with curved water spinning in space. It's not, it's just simply not is. Uh, I mean, pff, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to be as scientific as possible. Fire hose lava flow in, in Hawaii and molten salt. Let's see more pictures. Kilauea volcano, Hawaii, USA and molten salt in industry. Why the heck? Ah, now I understand everything that happens in this globe earth with spinning water and curved surfaces in space. Uh, volcano Hawaii and coal fire in China. Let's compare also Hawaii and China. Everything is the same everywhere. Kilauea volcano in Hawaii and molten salt in industry. Fire hose lava flow Kilauea volcano in Hawaii in 2017. Look at that, look at that, uh, how, how, how the molten salt comes out. Album review, Volcano Choir, Repave, Veruca Salt. Uh, as I say, Hollywood and music and everything, they say the truth under the volcano. And they say even on the album and the CD says Veruca Salt. Everything is given to us in plain sight. The masons and everything else. It's so unfortunate that you don't want to see it. Uh, and not you, but the big majority of the human race. Lava Salt. Um, 
So you have lava in channel in Hawaii, lava in channel in Iceland, Icelandic volcano salt, lava salt. Black lava salt is harvested from the coasts of Hawaii and Cyprus. The salt is infused with activated charcoal from lava found in those regions, which gives the salt its deep obsidian blue, pyramid shaped crystals, and a subtle earthiness to the dishes with hints. Also, oh, yeah, lava salt, you can eat it. We can eat it. Uh, so, yummy, yummy. Ground um, foundry, and then you see that in nature but it's not nature everything is artificial uh, and then yeah, you have here so the uh, the lava pond in Hawaii in different stages and the laser ablation crater we've seen we've seen that thing about the laser ablation crater and the craters themselves in the previous video this is the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii and then we have the quarry or quarry what do you, call, what do you want to call it I've done videos about quarries and I hope now you understand where we live as a human species um, is this forbidden by the way i'm just showing nature i'm just showing nature to human species uh Kilauea volcano uh december 1959 and a water fountain why is it like so liquid and so water type looking uh now you know why molten salt gets liquid at high temperatures and that's how it's uh, uh, the active the activity is and check it out this is like from 1959 a long time ago um Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, USA, and NASA launch pad water deluge system. Ah, oh, so beautiful, so identical. Uh, Hale Mau Mau uh, lava lake in Kilauea volcano, Hawaii, 2015. The craters and channels were most likely made by laser ablation. Yes, we've seen laser before. Human activity with direct energy weapons. Lava uh, should flow over the surface, not in a channel. A fissure and fountain reaches 150 feet, feeds the lava channel. Nice. When you see red, orange, yellow flowing lava, it is always in a channel. Red, yellow, orange lava always in a channel. We have Hawaii, Hawaii everywhere, Hawaii always in a channel. Um, again, in a channel. Kilauea volcano, Hawaii, USA, the best example of lava. Kilauea volcano, Hawaii. And again, and again, and again. Mau Mau Lava Volcano, 1984, again in Hawaii. You can actually imagine who lives underneath Hawaii. Is that like the place where they actually, they, they do something in, on, 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 like underground on in the inner side of the earth and then they just like flush all the CRAP on the surface? Who knows? Uh, and maybe that's the reason why the Kola super hole in Russia, Siberia is forbidden to dig deeper so we're not allowed to see what's underneath our feet and on the bottom of the ocean and stuff. So there, uh, I'm just gonna show you more pictures. The channel flow of lava, lava, I like that word. Lava should flow over the surface, not in a channel. Yes, and yet again, it flows in a channel, just like water. So let's finish the video with, uh, I don't know, with this, with this, with this, with this, molten salt, molten salt and the colors. I hope you understood the message and show this to your neighbors and friends and let me know if they still call you conspiracy theorists they might because you know i've i've proven and not just me but many people that we live on a, on a crater earth flat and people still call me nuts and crazy so i will see you guys the next time